The day was weird, right? If you find ominous weird, yeah. I hope we were literally on drugs. Some stupid story you two wrote when we were kids doesn't mean anything in it is actually going to happen. Or that your fate is sealed. I think it does. Let's face it. My fate has been sealed since the day that I was born. Because there's always a loophole to magic, and I'm the loophole. So if the whole reason I exist is to defeat Malivore, at what point do I stop fighting it and just accept it? You don't. You don't want everything that that means. I don't. That stupid story made me remember all the reasons why. My whole life has been one trauma after another trauma, and if I have to become a tribrid, it's like I'm stuck in that trauma forever. It's just like I'm stuck with the memory of all the family that I've lost. I'm sorry we couldn't see why you were hurting back then. But right now it's different. We're different. I'm still a work in progress, but I'm definitely a better version of Lizzie Saltzman. And Josie has become stronger, more independent. There's no reason why you can't be whatever you want to. A new hope. Thanks. But I think the universe is telling me the opposite. Honestly, this has been weighing on me since Cleo pointed it out after she tried to murder me. And you know what? She was right. Because I do feel responsible for every time a monster comes along because I know that I'm the only one that can stop it. You know, what if I don't do this and someone I love gets hurt in a way that I can't fix? Same problem with Landon. It's like for once, I just wanted to love someone and not lose them, you know? You only became the tribe right in that story because you faced Malivore alone. We won't let that happen. I promise. Panda promise. This is Andy's cabin. I swear to God, if she's crawled out of that hole, I will kill her again. It's not her. The prints are too big. Sleep.